Good evening, Toronto. <laughs> My name is Anita Lee. I'm the Chief of Programming for TIFF. I could not be more excited to present tonight the world premiere of Man of Reason. <laughs> Director Zhang, finish this film right before TIFF. You will be the first audience ever to see this film. Before we begin the film, I would like to thank our lead and major sponsors, Bell, RBC, Bulgari, and Visa for their continued support. Thank you to our major supporters, the Government of Canada, the Government of Ontario, Telephone Canada, and the City of Toronto for their continued support. This film is also eligible for the People's Choice Award. Vote for your favorite films at tiff.net slash vote. We would also like to say a big thank you to Epic Pictures Releasing and Ace Maker Movie Works for providing us with this film. The directorial debut of Korean superstar director Jong Woo Sung, who was here at TIFF as the star of The Good, The Bad, The Weird, has everything you crave in a modern thriller. High octane action sequences, memorable characters, a story that merges the personal and political, and Jung Woo Sung himself in the leading role. I could not be more thrilled to present to join me on stage director Jung and his cast, Kim Nam Gil, Kim Jun Han. Hello, nice to meet you all. <웃음> 우선 저희 영화를 초대해 주신 토론토 국제 영화제 스텝 여러분들께 진심으로 감사의 말씀드립니다. I would like to thank the Toronto International Film Festival for inviting my film. 어 저희 영화가 이제 어떻게 하다 보니까 여기에서 처음으로 여러분들이 첫 관객이 되셨는데. 여기 오기 전에 여러분들이 저한테 묻더라고요. 안 떨리냐고. 그래서 이상하게 안 떨린다고 했는데 지금 떨리기 시작하네요. So this is a first time screening of my film and on the way I was quite calm but now that I'm on stage I'm starting to get a little nervous. <웃음> 네. 어, 여러분 예. 즐기시길 바랍니다. Enjoy this film. Thank you. So after the screening, please stay for a Q&A with director Jung and the cast. Enjoy. Hello, good evening. Thank you for staying before. Welcome back on stage, director Jung Woo Sung and the team. Um, I'd like you to know that this year we are offering active listeners for anyone who may require support after screening. And the active listeners can be accessed uh, all throughout the festival until September 18 at Tiff Bell Light Box on the fourth floor. And signage will be on site. And the available hours are from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the afternoon and from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the evening. And now please join me in welcoming back on stage Zhang Wusun, the director of A Man of Reason. And the cast, Kim Nangil and Kim Jun Han. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us in Toronto. Well, director, director Zhang Wusun has a surprise for you. Um, a little gift, uh, a gift. So for each question, there will be a poster, a signed poster by Zhang Wusun. So please don't be shy, raise your hand, ask a question and we'll get the poster. 
but since I also want a poster, so I'm going to ask a question first. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, well, I just wanted to know what the process of developing the film was, and how did you come up with the idea for making this movie? Just one question. <laughs> yes, 처음 이 영화는 그 제가 감독을 염두해서 처음부터 기획이나 시나리오부터 참여한 작품은 아닙니다. 그 프로듀서인 송대찬 프로듀서가 이제 출연 제안을 먼저 했었어요. 그래서 그 시기에 마침 제가 이제 배우로서 어떤 액시, 액션 장르의 작품을 한 작품 했으면 하는 그런 시기였기 때문에 어, 흔쾌히 응락을 하고 이제 어, 준비를 하고 있는데 연출이 갑자기 부재가 된 상황이 발생했어요. 그래서 아마 이제 그 연출도 신인 입봉을 준비하고 있었는데 개인 사정이라고 하는데 내가 볼땐 도망간 것 같아요. <웃음> 그래서 뭐 이제 아무튼 그런 상황에서 어, PD한테 그럼 그냥 연출도 내가 해볼까? 그래서 뭐 자연스럽게 그렇게 연출을 하게 됐죠. 그래서 근데 이제 작품을 바라볼 때 배우로서 바라보는 과정과 이제 연출의 입장에서 바라볼 때는 상당히 큰 차이가 있죠. 먼저 하실래요? So as you know, this is my first film as a writer and director. Originally, I was offered only to act. And I wanted to get back to acting in an action film. Um, but in the process of developing the film, the original director had a personal reason and he kind of ran off. <laughs> so it kind of came naturally to me that I, should, I kind of thought to myself, should I direct this? So I took over as a director. But it's actually a very story. And 그런 액션 영화는 우리가 흔히 많이 봐왔고 그렇기 때문에 내가 연출을 할때 그러면 이런 우리가 흔히 봐왔던 뻔한 구성의 스토리의 영화를 어떻게 나답게 촬영을 하지? 를 고민을 하기 시작했죠. So from a point of view of director, I thought the original story was very predictable. So it got me to thinking like how can I make this a little different? 네, 그렇게 고민해서 나온 게 지금 이 결과물입니다. So out of the dilemma is the result of this film. And um, one question also for both of you, Kim Nang Hill and Kim Jun Han, is just, I just wanted to know how it was to work with Chang Woo Soon. He's a colleague of yours, he's an actor like yours. How did you feel working with him? Was he understanding, more understanding than other directors? Same director. Same director. Same director. Same d i r e c t o 그리고 연출하시는 분들 중에도 연, 연기의 호흡을 알고 연출을 하시는 연출이 있고 연출을 하지만 연기의 호흡을 모르고 디렉션을 주는 연출이 있거든요. 근데 어, 감독님은 배우이시니까 연출을 알고 디렉션을 줘서 겁이 났고 그래서 연기에 되게 명확하게 디렉션을 주셔서 연기하기도 되게 편했고 그리고 뭐 감독님이 계셔서가 아니라 어, 웬만한 감독님들보다 더 좋다고. <웃음> 네. So as we're both actors, um, there was a little more pressure because obviously he knows how to act. So I was a little scared at first, but I think as direct, as somebody who knows how to act and direct, I think the chemistry was just perfect. And also, he really directed with a lot of intelligence, and he made me really feel comfortable. Oh. Uh. <웃음> 어, 그 어쨌든 아까 말씀하신 대로 배우이기 때문에 배우들이 뭘 하고 싶어 하는지 
어떤 어떤 그 연기에 대한 또 갈증이 있는지를 너무 잘 아신다고 생각이 들었어요. 그래서 현장에서 굉장히 어, 배우들이 갖고 오는 아이디어나 이런 거에 대해서 열려 계시고 그래서 굉장히 자유롭게 좀 이, 이렇게 자유롭게 연기해 본 것도 어찌 보면은 처음이다 싶을 정도로 굉장히 뭔가 재밌는 캐릭터를 만들어 볼수 있게 그렇게 해 주셨던 것 같습니다. 네. Again, as actors, I think he knows. I know he knows what kind of roles and characters we want to play, what kind of roles we desire. So, <laughs> so he had a lot of great ideas, and he was really, really encouraging, and he gave me a lot of freedom. Um, and again, it was great fun. 그리고 사실 뻔한 이야기라고 구성이라고 얘기를 하셨잖아요. And he said that the original story was very predictable. 어, 여기 우리 둘이 없었으면 더 뻔해지지 않았을까 이런 생각을 합니다. 어, 우리 둘이 없었으면 더 뻔한 이야기가 And 되지 않았을까. And without two of us, it would have been more predictable. <웃음> And now questions from the audience. Yes, please. Yeah. 그 필름 룩으로 봐주신 것 같은데 이건 필름으로 촬영을 하진 않았어요. It's actually not filmed on film. It looks like it was filmed on film, but it's not. 음. Yeah, okay. 그 촬영 감독은 사실은 제가 이제 처음 입봉을 하면은 꼭 같이 하, 해, 하고 싶다라는 한국의 촬영 감독들이 좀 있어요. Yeah. <laughs> For cinematographers, um, there was a list of um, cinematographers that I want to work with if I were to direct my first film. But I think that the director of cinematography is a very important part of the film. I think that the director of cinematography is a very important part of the film. But I thought that I wanted to work with somebody who didn't like me personally, but somebody who really didn't know me. 그래서 이제 군악선 촬영 감독을 했는데 그 촬영 감독은 원래 조명 감독 출신이에요. 그래서 빛을 굉장히 잘 다루는 촬영 감독이죠. And the uh, 고각선 is a cinematographer, and he was originally a lighting director, so he knows really how to uh, work well with the lights. 근데 이제 그 단점은 그 전에 얘기를 해보니까 촬영장에서 별로 카메라를 안 움직인다고 하더라고요. And the advantage of his technique is that he doesn't really move his camera. 그래서 처음 만남에 어, 카메 카메라를 삼각대에 세워놓고 촬영할 일은 별로 없을 거다라고 얘기를 해서 그렇게 호흡을 맞춰갔습니다. So when we first met, he said that I'm just gonna be 다시. 삼각대 트라이. Oh, he's gonna just gonna put the camera on the tripod and he'll just leave it there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there is a question up there. Yes, please. Thank you for enjoying my film. 네, 강철 같은 모습이 보였다라고 하는 거. 예, 현장에서 강철 같은 감독이 되려고 노력을 했는데 그런 모습이 아마 수혁에게 투영이 됐을지도 모르겠네요. Um, I think I tried to be a steely director on set, and maybe that reflected in the character of Suyak. 사실은 수혁이란 캐릭터는 어떻게 보면은 sorry, sorry, sorry. 그 결핍을 갖고 있는 인물이죠. 그러니까 사회와의 어떤 소통에 대한 결핍으로 인해서 부자연스러운 소통 그리고 자기 앞에 나타나는 존재 그리고 사랑하는 여자였던 사람에게조차도 표현을 제대로 못하는 그런 딱딱한 남자죠. He lacks the communicative skills with the world, so even with the woman he loves, he is not able to communicate with her. 그런 어떤 부자연스러운 어떤 그 딱딱함을 깨기 위해서 그가 
어, 영화 이제 본편에서는 노력을 하는 모습이 아마 그 우직한 어떤 느낌으로 받아들여졌을 수도 있을 것 같습니다. And I think that maybe that natural, um, unnatural, um, stoic feel maybe might have translated into him being looked at steely. Yes, please. Yeah, you. あ、いや、感動が入ってたので、突っ張りちぎるすんじゃ。いや、皆さんにこう、超、いや、空には超めなうのね、エクションシーンは、えっと、エクションマン、6時間で仕事ですね。で、これを、これを、これを、これを、これ
And he, when we were acting, he basically asked me, can I just act like I do in real life with you? <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you too. Thank you. 여기 찍으면서 성 정체성을 잠깐 찍으면서 뭐 감독님이랑 그런 호흡을 맞추면서 정체성에 대해서 잠깐 고민했었다고. I kind of questioned my sexual identity when I was working with him. Okay. Tom, oh, sorry. I'm going to keep interrupting. 준하 씨는 준하 씨는 제가 그 준하 씨의 영화 중에 그 박열이라는 영화. 화가 있었는데 거기에서 처음 준하 씨의 연기를 보고 굉장히 그제 마음속에 가 인상 깊게 남았어요. 그리고 제가 출연한 지푸라기라도 잡고 싶은 짐승들이라는 영화가 있는데 거기에 준하 씨랑 저는 단한 씬도 부딪히지 않거든요. 근데 잠깐 준하 씨가 찍은 영상을 봤는데 또 너무 인상적인 연기를 하더라고요. 그래서 이 시나리오를 제가 연출하겠다라고 생각하면서 성준이란 캐릭터는 무조건 김준환 배우를 해야 되겠다라고 첫 번째로 그 캐스팅에 마음을 먹은 배우이기도 하고요. So he made a very lasting impression on me in the very first movie that I saw him in. And there was a film that I did called Beast Clawing at Straws, and he had a small part. And again, it was a small role, but he made such a good impression that as I was writing the screenplay, I said to myself, I really need to cast him in my movie. Thank you. Thank you. I love you too. Yeah, I love you too. So, one last question. Sorry. <laughs> so, who am I going to be? Over there, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you stand up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 성준 캐릭터가 죽을 때 마음이 너무 아파서 본인은 마음이 너무 아팠는데 다들 웃어서 속상했대요. 저분이 얘기하신 거예요 지금. 다시 말해주세요. 성준 캐릭터가 죽을 때 본인은 마음이 너무 아팠는데 다들 웃어서 너무 가슴이 아팠대요. So I got very hurt. Um, I was sad when Song Jun's character died, and I was more sad because people started laughing while he was dying. What she said. So there's a scene where um, Song Jun's character, he gets hit and then the blood kind of spreads like a joker's smile. So he wanted, she wants to know if that was intended effect of like him laughing through the pain and the torture that the life that he's living. 우선 그렇게 그 깊은 해석으로 바라봐 주셔서 진심으로 감사합니다. <laughs> I'm grateful that you see it as that deeper um, meaning, <laughs> interpretation. <laughs> 그 성준의 피는 분장이 아니에요. 성준, um, the blood was not fake. It was not makeup. 어, 어, 아니 그 저기 분장이긴 한데 의도해서 분장한 건 아니에요. Oh, so it was makeup, but it was not intended to look like that. <웃음> 피를 어 피를 머금 머금고 이제 맞는 연기를 하잖아요. So he's getting hit with the blood in his mouth. 근데 모니터에서 사실 성준의 얼굴을 보고 컷한 다음에 오케이를 할지 말지 고민을 했어요. So when I saw the scene through the monitor, I wasn't sure if I should say it's a cut like the good scene or not. 왜냐면 이게 조커 스마일이 돼 있으니까. Because he had that joker smile. 근데 그건 우리가 의도한 것도 아니고 너무나도 자연스럽게. 그 웃음이 만들어졌기 때문에 내가 왜 조커 때문에 이 고민을 하지? 라는 생각에 그냥 오케이를 했어요. So it was not intended, it was just all natural. 
And the fact that I was just in the dilemma thinking like, should I keep this or not? I just said, you know what, I'm going to keep it. 그래서 이제 그렇게 레이어가 더 깊은 성준이 된 거죠. I'm really sorry, but we really have to wrap it up here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.